One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. She had seen that there was no love in his heart, and as punishment she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope, for who could ever learn to love a beast? Quiet village Every day Like the one before Little town Full of little people Waking up to say Bonjour! 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 There goes a baker with his tray Like always The same old bread and rolls to sell Every morning just the same since the morning that we came to this poor provincial town. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, monsieur. Where are you off to? The bookshop. I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk and an That's ogre. nice. Marie, the baguettes. Hurry up. Look, there she goes. The girl is so peculiar. I wonder if she's feeling well. With a dreamy, far-off look. And her nose stuck in a book. What a puzzle to the rest of us is Belle. Till chapter three. Look, there she goes, a girl with strange but special, a most peculiar mademoiselle. It's a pity and a sin, she doesn't quite fit in. Very different from the rest of us. She's nothing like the rest of us, just different from the rest of us as well. Who does she think she is? No one says no to her. Gaston! Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she, who is beautiful as me, so I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle. No one's slick as Gaston, no one's quick as Gaston. No one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston. Well, there's no one as as you see, I've got biceps to spare. No one hits like Gaston, matches wits like Gaston. In a spinning match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expectorating to it. Ten points for Gaston. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs. So I'm roughly the size of a bird. There he goes, isn't he dreamy? Monsieur Gaston, oh he's so cute. He's so Hello, my heart, I'm hardly breathing. But there must be more than this provincial life. What I'm going to make them.
I want so much more than they've got planned. Mel got more adventure than even she and her wildest imagination could have dreamt. For through a series of strange circumstances, she found herself held captive inside a dark and foreboding castle, inhabited by a very odd collection of characters. Master will be furious if he finds out what we are up to. Well, we don't have to tell him, do we? There is nothing to worry about. No, nothing. Just our entire future. Oh, pish posh. We'll merely invite this lovely audience to be our guests for dinner. We'll keep it simple. What are you talking about? What's going on? Come on, Mom. Come along, Chip, dear. Oh, dear. No need to worry. We'll keep it simple. Hi. Stop. Stop it, I say. Do you hear me? All of you. I said quiet! If we're going to do this, then let's do it. But of course, we must make them feel welcome. Esteemed madames and messieurs, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you. Now, we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Come 